Next Wednesday, I'm gonna win by a hundred miles. showed up one night. What is that thing? He's not an alien. What is he? We think he might be a ghost. Be serious. He wants to be friends with us. He can't hear and he can't talk. He can read anything. He takes letters and he writes with them. We're the only ones who can see him. That means he wants you on the team. You have to promise never to tell anybody about Ghost Rider. Hey, cool. We're the Ghost Rider team. We check out clues and solve mysteries. He's a ghost and he writes to us. Ghost Rider. So how does it feel to be president of the United States? Awesome. I've been dreaming about this ever since I was a kid at Preston Middle School. Alex, Alex, you gonna let them cut our team? What about girls volleyball? We're important too. Hey, I'm on your side. When I heard the money for the school teams was gonna be cut in half, I was bummed out too. But don't sweat it. When I'm elected president, I'm going to make sure none of the teams are cut. What are you going to do? Well, the first thing I have to do is get you guys to vote for me. That's why I have to hurry up and finish my campaign statement and get it in by four. Good luck, Alex. We're counting on you, man. Yeah, you and all the other teams. Look, cutting the money from the teams has got the whole school going crazy. And I'm glad the principal's going to let the new president have a say in what happens to the teams. Because I really think I can come up with something. That's great, Alex. Do you say that in your statement? Feast your ears on this. Voters, my name is Alejandro Fernandez, better known as Alex. You all know I'm a big sports fan, and I like hanging out with my friends. I consider all of you my friends, so vote for me, because that's what friends are for. Uh, well, it's a start. That's not good enough, Alex. Your campaign statement is supposed to say why you'll be the best president and what you're going to do for the school. Mm -hmm. You haven't done that. But my statement is due with the school paper in 20 minutes. Okay, just talk it. Why will you be a good president? Because I'm not afraid to speak up for what I believe in. Okay, let's write this down. What else? And kids trust me, so they're not afraid to tell me stuff. That means I'll be a good person for them to come to. Okay. Can. Be. Trusted. That's the 
idea. Ghost Rider. What does he want to know that for? A Disney car team. Okay, Alex, what else? And I can come up with a solution to the sports budget problem because I'm fair and I won't take sides. Right, you're fair. Fair. I'll talk to him later. Yeah, you got it. Put in the part you said about being fair. Mm hmm Okay. Rui, what do you have so far? My name is Alejandro Fernandez, better known as Alex. I think I will be the best president because I can be trusted and I will speak up for my fellow students. I will listen to all sides and find a fair solution to the sports budget problem. It's getting there. But I need a great finish. Ha! Wait until Alex sees this. He's gonna die. What's that? I don't sleep with a nightlight. What are they doing? Sleeps with a Mickey Mouse nightlight. What a dirty Ron Smear flyer. Who'd want to put you down like that? Somebody's trying to make you look like a wimp. <laughs> Finish your statement. We'll get this garbage off the walls. might fight dirty, but I won't. I run a clean campaign. Hey, that's good. Alex Fernandez is not afraid to run a clean Campaign. Hey guys, I did it. I got it there on time. And we got rid of all the smear flyers. It's all the way to president now. Yeah. But you know, I don't get it. Who would try and smear me like this? I don't know, but why would they make up such a lie? Well, it's not a lie. Not exactly. There is a nightlight in my room, but it's for Gabby. Hey, you don't think Gabby... No way! She's her sister. She wants you to win. Yeah, but she's got a big mouth. She could have told somebody when her tongue was wagging. And don't worry. Everything's gonna be cool. We caught it in time. It's over. That must be why Ghost Rider asked about Mickey Mouse. Oh, I forgot. What? Ghost Rider. Sorry I was too busy for you. You are a true friend. Gracias. 
Yes. Gracias. Means. You might as well admit it, Blabby. Everybody knows you can't keep your big mouth shut. Get out of my face, Alex. I didn't tell anybody about the nightlight. Did too? You're the only one who knows. So that doesn't prove anything. Oh, yeah, right. I wish I had my own rule. I wish you had your own planet. Someone is writing nasty things about him. And I wish there was something I could do to help him. enough. Read all about me. Get your election newsletter. Read all about me. Alex Fernandez, the people's choice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. We did it. <laughs> Alex, you're going to be president for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I thought you got them all down last night. No way. No way. This is not going to go down like this. We've got to find out who's behind all these smear flyers. My place, after school. I don't get it. Why would anybody do this? Jealousy. What? Somebody's jealous because it looks like you're going to win the election. So they're trying to mess up our campaign and make you look bad. I don't bet it's one of the other candidates. But which one? That's what we've got to figure out. We can use the election newsletter pictures to start a case book. So we can keep track of our suspects. Lenny's on the case. Okay. First, there's Janet Williams. What do we know about her? Janet wants to be president, just like her sister was last year. Jenna is in my social studies class. She's really smart. Is she the kind of person who trash somebody's reputation? Not really. Suspect number two, Jeffrey Baxter. Talk about running hard. Have you ever seen posters like that? Posters, nothing. Check out the buttons and the music and stuff. He's slick. That's because his campaign manager is Calvin Ferguson. Calvin's parents own the party animal store, so he gets all those posters and buttons for free. Yeah, right. Jeffrey's such a suck-up. You notice every time you see him, he's just like a different person moving to a different beat. That's because he wants to fit in with all the different crowds at school, so he can get more votes. Well, it's not going to work. Everybody knows that Alex is going to win. Who's next? Nita Kapoor. She ran last year, too. She lost to Janet's sister. So now I think she's in eighth grade. This is her last chance to be president. And from what I hear, she doesn't have much of a chance either. That might make her the most desperate. 
Hey, doesn't Nitu have a sister in Gabby's grade? You heard. You talked to Nitu's sister, didn't you? I did not. I hardly even know her. Well, I sort of know her. Okay, so I eat lunch with her almost every day, but I never told her about the nightlight. Well, I sort of... Well, m maybe I sort of mentioned it. That's major evidence. Nietzsche's the only one that knows about the nightlight. I'm gonna nail her tomorrow. Wait, that still doesn't mean she did it. She's nice. She's got a point. Don't come down on Nietzsche or anybody until you really know. Yeah, you're right. It's just that it gets to me. Why would anybody do this to me? I don't know. Let's take another look at the smear flyer. Maybe there's a clue on it. Ghost Rider's looking for clues, too. Hey, stay on your side of the room. I'm just trying to help. Hey, look, Ghost Rider's trying to show us something. It looks like the symbols in comic books when the characters get mad. Wait, I know where I've seen those. The same symbols are on the newsletter and the flyer. So? So? The newsletters were printed in the computer room. Maybe the smear flyers were printed there, too. Let's check it out. 4.30. We can just make it a school before it closes. 4.30? I gotta go help my dad shop for the party. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow's your birthday. Is your dad gonna have his famous chocolate chocolate cake? You better, better believe it. See you in school. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Can I come? No. Uh... Attention, faculty and students. Five minutes to the end of after school activities. Five minutes. Uh -huh. Hi. Been working here for a while? Couple days, maybe? Maybe. Because I'm trying to find out if you saw anybody printing anything like this. Talk about getting blown off. Yeah, and how come this guy is here when no one else is around? Sounds suspicious if you ask me. The guy's definitely hiding something. These flowers were printed here, and he had the same strange symbols on his paper, too. I think we should add him to our list of suspects. We'll find out who he is tomorrow. The building is now closing. The building is now closing. speech. Did you finish it? Not yet. I'm still trying to think up a way to stop the teams from being cut. <laughs> Fried chicken makes Alex cry. How can you vote for such a wimpy guy? Who would make up something so lame? No one would believe this. Except if it's sort of true. What? I once had a pet chicken, Naomi. Seriously? A lot of kids do in El Salvador. I guess. Why not? I was three years old when my grandmother accidentally... You're kidding. <laughs> she cooked Naomi for dinner. I cried for days. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Naomi was my pet. I was like if somebody deep fried uh, your cat. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. Yeah, but that's not it. Nobody knew about this. Except for Gabby. She must have told me through sister. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this right now. There she is. Vote for too. Yes! Hey, Alex. I need to talk to you. Sure. Did you know about the nightlight before this came up? What's the big deal? Lots of kids sleep with nightlights. Did your sister tell you? Gulpin mentioned. I knew it was Gabby. I knew she opened her big mouth. 
So, it's okay to sleep with the night light. It's kind of sweet. Look at this. You're a vegetarian? I am too. I never eat anything with a face. I'm not a vegetarian. Oh, well, I still think you're sweet. She wasn't acting too suspicious. I'll say. But who else could it be? Attention, students. This is your principal, Mrs. Kelly. Certain unauthorized election flyers have been posted in the halls. These flyers are vicious attempts to damage the reputation of one of the candidates. Any student caught participating in this smear campaign will be suspended. Well, if the whole world didn't know before, they do now. Goldstrad is right. We can't give up. Besides, Nietzsche's not our only suspect. You're right. I'll go check out Janet. And Jamal and I will check out Jeffrey. I am one of you. I am, I am, I am one of you. I am one of you. I am one of you. I am, I am, I am one of you. I hate this. Sorry. I'm sorry about All right, Mega has rules. Well, then, we're breaking the rules. Let's not say breaking, Jeffrey. Say bending. What if we get caught? Breaking rules. What rules is he breaking? Let's find out. You guys are breaking the rules. That's what rules are for. If you need any more campaign advice, just give me a call. Hey, there's another metalhead. This time, get it right. What period? Janet might be a... No, that's not the way I want to do it. I don't have to tell you my plan. You're not my campaign manager. But I'm your sister. So? Fine, be a loser. I don't care. Just because I don't want to do everything your way. I won big last year. My way works. Not for me. Janet, you are so hard-headed. I bet you really don't have a plan. Oh, yes, I do. And I've already started it. I'm going to win no matter what it takes. I'm telling you, Jeffrey Baxter is our suspect. He and Calvin have been breaking some rules. That's some strong evidence. But check this. I heard Janet tell her sister some secret about what she's going to do for the election. She is definitely hiding something. And Nitu knew about the nightlight. That makes three suspects. Yeah. Four. We almost forgot about him. Well, what's this? He felt choked with guilt. He wanted to come clean, but he was afraid to speak. If he did, he'd be in trouble. Big trouble. Whoa. That looks like a confession. But he could be talking about somebody else. He felt choked with guilt. Why did he write he? If this was a confession, he would have written, I felt choked with guilt. No. But it says right there that he's afraid to speak. That kid is definitely the one. He's just not confessing. Uh, but how can he know all this stuff about you? I'm like, we don't even know his name. Well, it's obvious he has something to hide. He wouldn't even talk to you. And when he saw us, he just ran away. Hey, what are you going to do? Okay, admit it. It's you, isn't it?